Well, good day, YouTubers, friends, and family from across the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide. We are on December 9th, 2018. Welcome to another surviving day on this planet. God bless you all, and thank you for joining me today. We're going to start out today with Winter Storm Diego. Watching as it dropped almost two feet of snow in some regions, higher mountainous areas. But North Carolina, South Carolina, both receiving freezing rain, mixed precipitation, and a lot of snow in the higher elevations. Almost 200,000 people without power right now. And watch that storm just race to the North Pole with that another large low pressure system joining forces in the North Pole, watching things amplify across the Northern Hemisphere. So later in the week, do have another high pressure ridge building in California, keeping the cold temperatures around. Pretty dry in Alberta, no moisture expected in the, la in the next five days. Up and down temperatures, but nothing colder than minus five degrees and that's all right. So we're also watching a lot of snow totals throughout the BC mountains over the next couple days. We'll get into that momentarily, but still watching these large low pressure systems heading off of China and across our new jet stream in the Pacific Ocean. None of those large low pressure systems able to get over Alaska and the Aleutian Islands. So Japan receiving quite a bit of snow over the next few days as well. Cold temperatures reaching all the way down to Taiwan. Also watching for a possible tropical cyclone developing for Sri Lanka. Later in the week, watching a large low pressure cell develop in the Indian Ocean. We'll have to see what happens here in the next few days. Overlooking Africa, kind of calmed down from those massive hailstorms they had last week. Parts of Europe, large low pressure system hanging around, dropping quite a bit of snow. Or it's parts of Sweden and Germany, Poland, and even parts of Turkey. I know some of my subscribers in Turkey, they like snow, they want snow. Well, it's coming. Russia still d dealing with extreme cold temperatures. Australia, we have that tropical cyclone Owen, who is still hanging around northeastern Australia and will do a backtrack in the next few days. So watch for possible flooding conditions throughout these areas as the low pressure center hangs around on the northeast parts of Australia, Queensland, Watch out, flood alerts, torrential downpours. Southern Hemisphere, just having a look here the next five days. And we're just going to look at the Pacific Disaster Center, looking at the latest disaster alerts from around the world. And we do have a lot, as we had that large earthquake in Canada today. 5.4 re recorded in Port Hardy, Canada. Sending small tsunami warnings, alerts, to Port Alice and also Port Hardy. So these are the latest disasters. We got Winter Storm Diego, as well the 5.0 earthquake. In this one was Alaska, I believe. The 5.0. But look here, we can see a lot of moisture falling in the Rocky Mountains right now. We're going to get into that shortly. But just looking at all these volcanoes getting updated today. And a lot of sizable earthquakes. 5.1 Taiwan. 5.4 in Canada. But yeah, small tsunami warnings issued for Alaska and BC US coastline. So we're gonna go to windy.com here, and this shows the next 10 days for snow totals around the world. 
So let's just have a look here at the snow totals for North Carolina. Looking at about 30 centimeters of new snow. 31 over the next 10 days. So yeah, that was a pretty nasty storm that hit North Carolina, South Carolina, and as well sending tornado warnings across four states. But look at these totals, 240 centimeters dropping in western parts of British Columbia over the next 10 days. So watch for high level snowpack and as well as avalanches. Stay aware and prepared. Things are changing drastically across the northern hemisphere. Look at these snow totals across the world. Let's get to earthquakes. This is the last 24 hours for earthquakes. And yeah, here, 5.4, Port Hardy, Canada. 4.8, Tofino, Canada. And also a 4.2. So stay aware and prepared along the west coast. We have some large seismic movement happening right now. And we've kind of been ex expecting it after those large earthquakes in the Fiji region. And as well, Alaska. This last week has been very... Busy for earthquakes and disastrous for earthquakes. Looking at these earthquakes as well, 4.5 in Greece, 4.7 in Turkey. As well, Afghanistan ringing off here. This is the last 24 hours. Here's the last seven days for earthquakes from around the world, not including the large 7.2 that was in Alaska, Anchorage, Alaska, a week ago over a week ago. So yeah, it's been pretty quiet in North America as of late, so I was kind of expecting this movement. I didn't think it would be Port Hardy again. I assumed that it would be Alaska. Looking at the Southern Hemisphere for earthquakes, South Sandwich Islands, going off. But yeah, it has been a busy week for earthquakes, a lot of deep earthquakes, so watch for larger shallow earthquakes to follow in the coming days. Especially when you see space weather like this coming at us. We have an incoming fiery sunspot region affecting the photosphere you can see here on the sun. And we also have a departing sunspot who has all of a sudden become very active. So on the back side of the sun, Things are re really going to be busy as this departing sunspot is leaving. And thank God it wasn't earth facing because that almost looks like an M2 flare. Looking here at a different picture and you can see the coronal hole slightly diminished. Another equatorial coronal hole forming. And also watching this small sunspot region, a little crack and a ripple of some energy. Watch this. Thanks for watching today. This has been Mike with Morning Dew. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your morning dew. Thanks for watching. Bye bye. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.